Hello, City of Shawnee. This is Communications Director Doug Donahue. I know I normally come from here to talk to you about the latest City Council meeting. Right now, though, we're going to talk about something even more exciting, the proposed 2025 budget. Yes, that's right. I'm going to walk you through many of the components that make up the proposed budget to show you how we put your tax dollars to work to make Shawnee a better place to work, live, and play. And it all starts with the revenue. The city's projected revenue for 2025 is $120.1 million. The majority of that money comes from two sources, general sales tax at $49.1 million and property taxes at $37.4 million. The remaining 28% of revenue comes from a variety of sources including franchise fees, service charges and fines, budget transfers, and miscellaneous revenues, which includes your monthly stormwater bill and fees paid by utility providers like Evergy, Kansas Gas, and telecom companies. Let's take a look at the sales tax portion a little bit more in depth now. Yes, those numbers you see at the bottom of the receipt, they mean a whole lot for the daily operation of the City of Shawnee. Sales and other similar taxes account for 40% of city revenue. That breaks up into general city sales tax, county taxes, and three use-specific taxes. In our case, that would be the Shawnee Public Safety Sales Tax, a 1 8 cent tax, the Parks and Pipe Sales Tax, also a 1 8 cent tax, and the Payment Sales Tax, a 3 8 cent tax. Both the Parks and Pipes and the Payment Sales Taxes were just approved for a 10 year renewal during the 2023 local election cycle by 75% of Shawnee voters. They will renew in 2025 and sunset in 2035, unless voters approve another renewal. The revenue from the Parks and Pipes sales tax must go specifically towards building new and renovating existing Shawnee parks and recreation facilities along with stormwater improvements. The pavement sales tax funds the repair and upgrades to streets, curbs, and sidewalks in the city of Shawnee. So that's where the money comes from. Now let's show you how the city puts it to work. The largest portion of the city budget funds critical services residents, businesses, and visitors rely on every single day, like public safety in both police and fire, public works for streets and stormwater, and our nationally accredited Parks and Recreation Department. Additionally, we can't forget our community development team that handles business licensing, building inspections, and code enforcement. Every department in the city works together to make Shawnee the hometown with heart we all love. A majority of the city's expenses support the personnel who provide all of these amazing services. From our uniformed police officers to our seasonal pool employees, the city relies on every single one to provide excellent service to the entire Shawnee community. We've talked sales tax, now let's talk the other big portion of the city's revenue, property tax. For the proposed 2025 budget, the mill levy is set at 23.048. So how does that affect your tax bill? Well, it's an excellent question, and luckily you've asked a guy with two semesters of math in college, so bear with me. Your city property taxes are calculated in a few steps. The first step is to find your home's market value. In this case, we'll use the average market value of a home in Shawnee of $402,973. From there, we'll multiply that by 11.5% to determine the assessed value of our example home, which is $46,342. We then use that assessed value to figure the city property taxes of our example home to be $1,068.09 because every penny counts. Here's the clean formula you can use to determine not just the property tax you'll pay to the city of Shawnee, but also Johnson County, your local school district, the Johnson County Parks and Rec District, and the Johnson County Library System. Good news, the math isn't over yet. We know the revenue neutral rate can be fairly complicated, so we're hoping this next section will provide some much needed clarity. The Kansas legislature adopted the revenue neutral rate statute in 2021. This statute requires a city to notify residents if the proposed mill levy generates property tax collections in excess of the prior fiscal year. The revenue neutral rate can be defined as the rate which will generate the exact same amount of property tax dollar revenue as was generated the year before. In the case of Shawnee, the proposed 2025 budget includes a proposal for a flat mill levy rate. Using the same mill levy rate as was used in 2024 would provide $32.7 million in property tax revenue in 2025, an increase of 6.2% over the previous year. Ultimately, the City of Shawnee is committed to being a good steward of the tax dollars entrusted to us while delivering the high-quality services you've come to expect. To do so means adequately funding programs, planning for the future, 
and factoring increased growth needs and cost. Shawnee does provide a property tax rebate program to help lower income homeowners maintain ownership of their homes. Eligible residents can receive a refund on up to 100% of the city's property tax capped at $500. To qualify, applicants must be current on all property taxes and special assessments, live in and own their own home, be current residents of Shawnee, and meet HUD's very low income guidelines. You can find out more information by searching property tax rebate on our website, cityofshawnee.org. There is one new program to highlight in the proposed 2025 budget, but eh, it doesn't make a ton of sense to talk about it here, so... Ah, <laughs> welcome to the Civic Center, home for Shawnee Parks and Recreation Summer Camp in 2025. This proposed program fills an unmet need as determined through a 2024 survey. It'll be open to 70 school-aged children for 10 weeks of programming, field trips, and activities to keep kids engaged and busy during the summer. The camp would create 12 seasonal positions, including a camp director, two lead counselors, and nine additional counselors. The estimated expenses of the camp are budgeted $104,250. The summer camp would generate $126,000 at full enrollment, thereby paying for itself. Well, it's always fun to get out of the office, but I think it's time we head back and wrap this up. Well, thanks for watching to learn more about the proposed 2025 budget for the City of Shawnee. The City Council will hold a public hearing on the budget during the Monday, August 26th council meeting at Shawnee City Hall. City of Shawnee makes sure that it meticulously tracks every single dollar that goes into the budget so you can be sure that we are putting your tax dollars to the best possible use. So please take a look at the proposed budget on the website and see everything that goes into making Shawnee your hometown with heart.